Hello everyone, Craig Rivers here from Rivers End Outdoors. Uh, my last video I did didn't go so well. Uh, my cooking eggs with willow sticks was kind of a failure. So I scrounged around in my barn and found an egg timer. Parking meter. Put a penny in it and it goes for 12 minutes. That should be perfect. I hope the smoke's not screwing you guys up. Um, I just started these eggs, kind of had a problem with my willows. My willows are drying out. This one, I tied it together, tried to link it all up, and uh, it already is, it already fell apart. So this may be failure two, part two, instead of success part two. Get some heat under these things. can do is try it see what happens it may take me five or six times but I will succeed at this because I know this works or conceivably it should work today I have uh oh is burning drop my egg well today I have a spatula this last time all I had was my knife get that one cool boy I'm just not having any luck with this all right today I got bacon and a little bit of kibasa. Stop! Stop it! Yeah, I might just give up on this. We'll see. Feels done. Don't you do that. No, I don't think so. That one's cool. Problem with me is, is that I'm stubborn. I have to succeed at what I'm doing. Oh. Comfortable here. I think the parking meter is hiding me at the moment. I want to cook my parking meter. This thing's old. I don't even know where it came from. It's just been laying around the ranch forever. Kind of cool. Come on, baby. <clears throat> well, let's just do that. Hope you guys can see it. You see it? Looks like it. And I lost my other egg. Okay, this ain't gonna work. Whoop. Whoop. Oh, huh, this one's done. Look at that. That one's done. It just fell off. So it does work. 
Let that one cool. This one. This one. And it's still, yeah, it's almost cooked. It's fairly raw, but almost cooked. You know what? I'm gonna set that thing right back there. Let it cook some more. This one, this one's done. It worked. Yowzer, that's hot. Don't even try to eat it. All right, I'm pretty excited about that. I just got perfected a little bit better. Look at that. It's done. Yowzer. You know what? It was only in there for five minutes. So it's all about the heat. And the willow branches will work. You just got to keep figure out how to keep them from burning. You know what? I bet you if you soaked them in water, that would be the trick. That'd be the ticket. This one's really hot. But it is done. That's what I like. That one's almost done. It was cooking. successful video today that's for sure things are quick falling out and burn it up and everything I'm gonna pull this egg out oh, can without getting it too dirty God, you son of a gun so this one I don't know if you can see this one pretty damn hot It definitely worked. That's the way to do it. The outer. Get out of there. That's my egg. kind of stuck a little bit but it's done look at that I'm feeling it's not a real good video but we'll see I'm just learning that one's still wet beside the one that fell in the fire egg all over me I'm gonna finish up my cooking my bacon So, watching some videos a few years ago, and I don't want to mention any names, but some on TV survivalists. This one particular one that's pretty famous. Two of them that are pretty famous did some goofy stuff that I caught. One was um, the fella found an old. Honda 90 motorcycle. And of course, he had his multi tool. He's a multi tool nut. And uh, he cut some spokes off and he took the hose clamp off of the air cleaner pipe to clamp the spokes on the end of a stick to make a uh, kind of like a thing with a bunch of prongs to catch fish or frogs or whatever. There's a name for them. I don't know what it is. But the hose clamp he pulled off of the rubber hose on the air cleaner on the Honda 90 and the hose clamp he used on the stick with the spokes were two different things. There were two different kinds of hose clamps. The one that he pulled off was a circle clamp with a bolt through it. The one he put on the stick was a regular hose clamp with the, with the screw slot that, that has a worm gear that drives it and tightens it up. And I think that's kind of hokey. 
The other one was a survivalist that was supposed to survivalist that's real famous. They sell all this crap at Walmart. Drives me nuts. I really don't like the guy. He was in Chicago after after Hurricane Katrina, and he's going to uh, make some diesel out of some uh, waste that he got out of a sump at a at a uh, some kind of a greasy spoon or fast fry place or whatever. He pulls this waste out of a sump. He just had perfectly the chemicals he needed. To cook the, the oil and render it down and turn it into diesel fuel. The other thing was he had a nice fancy cut pile of firewood. Come on! He could at least use pallet wood to make it look more realistic. I, I don't know, I'm just... I'm tired of people that are not honest. To me it seems like the world is haywire. Nobody's honest anymore. Everybody's a bunch of crooks. It, what's going on? Maybe you folks know. Put some comments in there and let me know what the heck you think's going on. Everything's upside down. World is upside down. Yeah, this egg looks good. I'm happy. Mmm, perfect. Perfect egg. You know what? It only cooked for like five minutes. Uh oh, my timer went off. I wasn't paying attention. You guys are supposed to tell me. This one's good, actually. It's just like a poached egg. Okay. So. I try something else. Mm. Need a some, some sort of a stick with just a little basket on the end. You had one with a little basket on the end, like if you took a willow and cut it three directions four directions and just slipped your egg in the end and then maybe tied it off, you could just rotate it over the fire. That might be pretty cool. So, um, I've got some, still got a lot of good videos I want to make. If I can figure out how to do it, if I'm successful at it. Now, one thing I want to do is I want to take you guys all around and show you my ranch. Show you what I've built, what I've got going on here. I've been here a lot, a lot of years. Grew up on the ranches next door. Got people living at the other ranch next door. Been around a long time. Done a lot of work over the years. Um, I think you'll enjoy it. I'm actually blessed. Worked hard my whole life and I was able to um, acquire the things that I have and retain what I have. I got a good family, I got three kids, I got five grandkids. Um, five, one on the way, it'll be six. I'll have five boys and one girl. Kind of wish I had another girl, but that's all right. Uh. Well, okay, I'm happy. Kind of a goofy thing, but what the heck. We'll, uh, we'll keep trying. We'll perfect that. I think I got a way to do that, but at least it worked this time. I was surprised how short a time it was. It, it actually almost dried it out. It cooked it so quick. So the heat is the big deal. Now I was going to bring a thermometer this time, but the thermometer I had goes up to 200 and it, it actually was broken. It was perfect. It was a nice long glass thermometer and uh, doesn't take 
far along for uh, stuff to get messed up around my place. So, going back to my tips. Now, if you live out in a rural place and you heard me talk about garbage holes before, um, there's a ton, a ton of stuff you can find. The other thing is, if you've got friends that live out in a rural area and they've got old sheds and buildings and stuff, you can find things. So, I have some tips that are physical tips I have to show you. And I think you'll like them. Uh, they, they work pretty good. And especially if you're like into bushcraft and um, so you know there's a lot you can find and do and scrounge up and and it's kind of important to have a knack for that when you find something you got to grab it and uh, you know things like bullet casings and well of course like the survivalists that had spokes off a Honda 90 but Bicyclists or bicycle spokes are really good. Um, just anything, you know. So, yeah, it's important. Uh, I'm worried about this video being a little bit goofed up, but we'll see. What do you think, there, Zipper? My dog, Zipper. He's uh, probably the third or fourth Queensland healer I've had. To me, they're the best dogs. He works cattle good. He, uh, he's kind of lazy, but he's a good, good dog. Good watchdog, good lovey dog, good around kids, good family dog. Gotta have a dog. I mean, life would suck without a dog. I know people say, well, I don't want a dog, I don't want to have to take care of it. Well, that's stupid. No, that's not. No. No, I'll give you another egg later. You want me to cook you an egg for breakfast? I brought a ton of eggs because I was not having luck, and I was going to keep trying this until I had success. I had mediocre success, but um, I've got some more eggs, so I'll probably cook those up and uh, share them with the dog and maybe a piece of sausage or something with him. I need to kind of get him leaned out a little bit. He'll lose weight during the summer. I, I sleep out on the front porch. It hasn't been a bad winter. And uh, he sleeps with me. The only thing is, is he's freaking heavy. He lays across my knees and my knees start hurting. That, that. Oh. This little pan, these pans work good. I'm in trouble, I gotta find a place to put it. chase some squirrels. You bring back a squirrel, I'll cook it for you. <clears throat> hmm? Come on. I wonder if anybody's ever fried an egg in an eggshell. Might as well just fry it in the pan, but why would you do that? Might like hard boiled eggs better than fried eggs? I don't know.
Crack this last one in there. There's three eggs. Yeah, my dad will be 90 next month. So, really, he eats a lot of eggs. Hard boiled eggs, as a matter of fact. Not, not done. Oh. Mm. Good kibasa. Well, no big tips this this time. The only only thing I can think of is and kind of reiterate it is look, watch out for stuff you can collect. I had a couple of uh, well, one thing is I used a rifle bullet casing for a handle handle on my on my ferro rod. The other thing is I had a little short um, plane or uh, not plane draw knife and the hand, wooden handles were rotted all off. So I cleaned it up and I put a couple of bullet casings on there. And, and that worked really good. Kind of compact, nice, no sharp edges, easy to hang on to. Yeah, pretty good. and I lost my heat. So my creek came up about a foot in the last rains we had. Thought we were going to have some good storms, but it um, didn't work so well. Um, and then my, uh, then it uh, kind of dried out. It's dropped back down. There's some pools and ponds. I went and looked the other night. I go down at night with my flashlight and look in there because it's easier to see if you got fish in there. Um, 
no minnows, nothing. And we typically don't have crawdads here in this creek, although there's a thing called a turnout that's down the roadways where they pump water from the local river system in there to repark the, the wells and the groundwater. And below that point, sometimes crawdads show up, but there's none up in here. We used to have sucker fish. Um, steelhead sometimes run up here. Haven't in years. No trout. I've seen trout up the road that were landlocked, but none, none down here. Um, so that's kind of a shame. It's, it takes all the fun out of it. It's still a beautiful creek. When the water flows better, like next year, if it starts earlier in the year, like if it starts around November, early December, we might get steelhead up, but it's got to run all the way out to the ocean, and it's got to be flowing good before those fish come up the creek. So I don't know if you guys can see it, but here I'm, I'm building a primitive shelter. Um, you might see the end of the log. Um, I kind of want to work on that a little bit, and uh, that'll be kind of fun. I, I think you'll enjoy that. Um, I kind of got some oddball ways of doing things. So, and I hope when I, I just realized that I'm turning away from the camera when I talk. I hope you guys can hear me. So I'll watch this video and see how it goes and uh, I think in the meantime I'm going to eat my breakfast and you guys don't need to watch me eat so I think I am going to <clears throat> go and say goodbye. full of food um, thank you for watching my video I hope you uh, enjoyed it hope you're all safe with all this COVID stuff and lockdowns and money issues that everybody's having um, look, looking forward to seeing you next time I'm saving up ideas for a whole bunch of videos so zip and I gonna say goodbye see you next time bye now